learning about geometric sequences. Can we not? Kenny, uh, geometric sequences are fun. But they seem so confusing. Oh, come on. They aren't that bad. The first thing you need to know is what a geometric sequence is. Does anyone have an idea of what it might be? How about no? This makes no sense. Well, a geometric sequence is a sequence where the next term is found by multiplying the previous term by a fixed non-zero value. I'm starting to get it. Oh, so it's kind of like an exponential function? Yeah, they are a bit similar. So the first thing you have to do is find the common ratio, which is r. So r is equal to a n over a n minus 1. Oh, that is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1. Yes, it is. An example would be if you had the sequence 6, 24, 96, 384, you would use that formula. So for that sequence, a sub 2 is 24. And x sub 1 is 6. Using the formula, a would be 24 over 6, which is 4. Great! I think you're getting the hang of it. What is next, Miss Johnson? Next, you need to know the two general terms, the explicit rule and the recursive rule. This seems like it's getting confusing. Yeah, it sounds hard. Don't worry, it is pretty simple. For the explicit rule, Use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 power. And for the recursive rule, we would use the formula a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times r. So say you have a sequence, negative 2, 8, 16, and you wanted to use the explicit rule. You would have to find r first. R would be negative 2, right? Yes, because a sub 2 over a sub 1 is 4 over negative 2, which equals negative 2. So then you would just plug in everything into the formula. a sub n would equal negative 2 times negative 2, n to the negative 1 power. Great job, guys. You guys seem like you're really getting it. Let's move on to the sum of geometric sequences. The formula for the sum is s sub n equals a sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r to the nth power all over 1 minus r. So with the sequence 6, 2, 2 thirds, 2 ninths, we know r would be 1 third. So then if you wanted to know the sum of the first five terms, s sub 5 equals 6 times the quantity 1 minus the quantity of 1 over 3 to the 5th power over 1 minus 1 over 3. s sub 5 equals 242 over 27. Nice work. There's only one last thing you need to know. The sum of an infinite geometric series. This is just like the sum of geometric sequences, except you can't find the sum because the sequence approaches infinity. You can, however, find the sum as the number approaches zero because zero is a finite number. The formula is s equals a sub 1 over 1 minus r. So let's say we have a sequence 3 over 8 minus 3 over 16 plus 3 over 32 minus 3 over 64 plus, and so on, r equals negative a half. s would equal 3 eighths over 1 minus negative 1 half, which equals 1 fourth. Awesome! Now you guys know everything you need to know about geometric sequences. Yay! Thanks, Miss Johnson! Thanks, Miss Johnson!